This time we took things south a little bit to some calmer waters and some palm trees because we needed to find a location to build a brand new Ford racing garage to house all of our Ford owned vehicles. So that's the plan today. We got our Ford Raptor F-150 here looking sweet. We got a nice blue color on here. Got that tropical theme going. And then I got a big tax 22 footer. Today's going to be an insanely fun video. So we got a lot of stuff planned. So make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe because we're going to get going right now. I would appreciate it a ton. So let's get moving. Hop in the Ford Raptor. And I got an aftermarket exhaust on this thing, so let me start it up here. Oh, buddy, listen to this thing purr. It's got insane racing exhaust on it, so this is even one of the racing vehicles that fits in the rest of the fleet. So we got to whip around here. I pulled up to this nice beach. And we got to go uh, scouting for some land today as well. We got to find somewhere to put this garage around and build the rest of our property. But for now, what we're going to do is head south towards the ocean and see if we can find a spot where to place down the land. And I found a really nice spot down the road to the left here. So we got to go through the town a little bit and then shoot around the back and we'll be there. It's located right on the ocean. If we ever have to get a boat, maybe a Ford racing boat. There's all of our vehicles right there, by the way. So we're going to be picking those up soon. But back to the point, we're going to be uh, able to just hop on a boat in no time and just go for a nice ride in the Ford racing boat. But maybe that down the line they'll uh, invent a boat by Ford. I'm sure they have uh, involvement in other boat companies, but that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, go across the sand field. Doing some sand mud right now, and then right over here, we should be pulling in. It looks like there's a plane up there. Check that out. Crop duster, and here we are pulling into the property. So like I said, it's all flat and open, and I think there's gravel over here, so we can build upon the actual shed. Yep, here we go. We already got like a kind of gravel laid out here. I think it's almost a perfect fit. It's a little bit bigger than the shop, but it should work out good. Right on the beach as well. Let's go check this out. Wasn't well, this thing idle? I mean, it's insane. F-150 Raptor. The aftermarket exhaust on it, we put that on ourselves in a garage similar to the one we're going to be building. But like I said, right here, direct access to the river, you hop on and go fishing for the day. Got to get a lawnmower over here to clean all that up, maybe a brush mower or something. So actually, let me turn off the truck, we're burning a lot of fuel. I think we get like 5 miles to the gallon with this engine, it's, it's not good, I'm telling you, we burn fuel like crazy. Light bar on top, pretty sweet, got the uh, nice rims on here, off-road tires. But enough of that, let's get to the shop where we're going to be building the Ford Racing Garage to put all this stuff at. So uh, what we're going to do is I think we're just going to time lapse building all of this. It's going to look really nice at the end. I think I'm going to put a pond in the middle here. That's the plan. Shed is going to go on the gravel and we'll figure out a spot for park and we'll just put all the cars in the garage as well. I think we have five or six at the shop so we're going to take a couple of trips with that. So make sure you stick around and uh, watch the build as it progresses. It's going to look really nice. It's going to be a short time lapse, so uh, you'll get to see everything in one little time lapse. And then uh, we'll check in after, do a quick tour, and check out all the cars we have from Ford Racing Team, boys.
And uh, after a couple minutes, like I said, it wasn't going to take long to build this property. And uh, we're uh, finished, so we're all wrapped up. We got a nice pond here in the little driveway area. It was a quick and short build, but it's a racing garage. We're not going to be here long. It's just a place to put the Ford racing vehicles at, but it's really nice. The inside, let me show you a look. So right here, we got a K30, a dump truck looking thing. We got the frame all torn apart. Racing signs everywhere. I think you've seen this shop before. Some frames all over the place, and then we just have to uh, throw all the vehicles in here. One special one's going to go on the podium. We'll have to decide. Or if you guys hit the like button enough and you enjoy this video, maybe I'll let you guys decide what we can do for next video and uh, see which one the best vehicle is to put on the podium. But we have five cars, so uh, five doors is perfect for this shop. And it looks really nice. We've got some rocks out front here. I don't know why it's in the pavement, but uh, it gives it a little bit of character. And then it just wraps around all the way to the street. So it works out good. I think uh, we're going to go ahead and over to the shop, pick up our first load. We're taking three trips today to pick up all the cars. Oh, yeah, buddy. I love the sound on this Raptor. Sounds absolutely amazing. Okay, we're not following the driveway rules right now. Let's get on it, though. There we go. Looking good. Got the big text behind us. And if you check it out, we got the forward signs on the uh, building as well. That's some nice character to have, you know, around the shop. Just to let all the people know in the town we're the Ford racing people. You know what I mean? But what's nice is the uh, place that dropped off our racing cars. We've owned the cars before, but we're actually just picking them up from uh, a freight container ship that took them on over. We had a couple crates that, that we put them in, and then we're going to be uh, hauling them back. Uh, we're actually taking them right here. It's right around the corner, so like I said, three trips is going to be like nothing, and then we'll be able to race all these before. You may have seen some of them, and then some of them are brand new you've never seen before. So I can't wait to show you the new ones as well, but let's pull in. Alrighty, and there we go. So, let's go start with the uh, two most expensive. Let's go with those. But what I think would be is the GT and the Hot Rod. We got three different Mustangs, different years, different specs. This is spec 5. We got the Shelby, and then we have the Classic. So the two most expensive are these bad boys. Let's hop in the Hot Rod and fire this bad boy up. There we go. And you guys saw this last video. If you haven't checked that one out, go watch it. It's insane. It's a Hot Rod video. And uh, we end up running from cops because we didn't have plates on this car. So if you guys haven't checked that video out, watch it after this one. Check that out. We're going to pull this up. There we go. And right there. Perfect. Now let's see if we can get this Ford GT on. Okay, I kind of got to get down for this. Open the door. Yes, sir, we are fired this one up. And hopefully we can get them all on. We should have no problems. We might have to fold the ramps up. Alright, we got this one. Okay, so we'll be able to fit it. Oh, don't hang it over there. Strap, strap, and we're set to go. Hot Rod and the GT are the first ones to go. So we'll take these back, and then we'll come back for the other three. I'll probably just drive the last one back. I'll get a taxi or an Uber on the way back. Oh, look, we've got some city buses going through. Let's wait for them. Well, that's that Island Life party bus. That thing's pretty fun, I heard. Might have to make one out of the Ford Racing Garage. But we're pulling up to the spot right now where we're going to put all these cars. It's going to be super cool to have some cars. Oh my gosh, palm tree. Who put a palm tree in the middle of the driveway? Alrighty, and then uh, like I said, the loop around driveway, we just pull in. And yes, sir, we're going to have a fun time at this shop. I can already imagine us racing down this driveway. And that's why I decided to build such a long driveway. Cool turns as well. You can bank them, you know, do some drifts. That's what we're all about here. Oh, I almost forgot to put up the spoiler. There we go. We can click a button and that thing raises just like that. Oh, I'll get the Brembo brakes on this thing. This thing is insane. So we're going to back this one up to here. That should work good. Got the red theme rocking. And then let's just grab the hot rod and we'll be good to go grab the round two. Steering wheel is so big compared to the other cars. You know, the modern supercars, the, the steering wheels are tiny. I'm not used to this. So here we go. Back it off. Now we have two miles on it. I think that actually means 20. I think the gauges go by tens or something like that because we were in a police chase with it. But let's go about right there. Should be good. There we go. Open the door. Perfect. So these bad boys are good. We're going to go back for the other cars. All right, let's go off-road and actually. We got the Raptor. We don't have a load, so if we lose anything, we're not going to lose anything. We'll be fine. I think the color is just amazing on this truck as well. It looks good. It's got that tropical theme. That's why we moved here. You know what I mean? We can do racing year-round. We don't have to worry about snow. 
getting paint chips on the cars, you know, having engine problems. You know, we don't have to worry about that. Alrighty, perfecto. So let's go in for round two. This is the Spec 5 Mustang, the Roush package. Let's get in. Here's what the engine looks like. It's kind of complicated. I can explain a couple things. There's a motor. There's an oil slot where you put oil in, if you ever heard of that. A couple batteries and uh, some spark plugs. That's about all I know about this car. And I know it goes fast, so uh, that's what I know about this car. And it's got custom headlights on the front, so pretty sweet. And there's the first one loaded up, so let's grab the second one. Probably the best one, the Shelby Mustang. Now, this is the Cobra package, so uh, it's pretty nice. Oh, these things could go on tracks all day long. And surprisingly, they don't burn that much fuel, so let's hop in. There we go, listen to the stirrup sound. It's not very special. I think that's what I'm going to do at this workshop, is do a little bit more tunes on it. Make it sound a little bit more mean. I've had it on the track at Rich Guys Racing, so I know how it sounds. It gets pretty loud when you get it going. Oh my gosh, look at the room. The back end's hanging off, but we're fine. Alright, let's go take this load back. Daylight's burning like crazy, so we gotta get this thing back. Look at that thing in the rear view. That thing looks sweet. Alright, taking a left here. Should have memorized this path by now. We're all good, though. It's kind of nice being secluded back here, though, because then we don't have to worry about people coming up. Because, you know, they got to drive all the way down this driveway. But we're back right now, so let's get the cars unloaded. There we go. We got the Shelby here. And to check out the hood, we got moving components. Everything looks really cool in here. Pretty sweet. And then I think we got a full cover in the back trunk here. Let me pull it out. Oh, gosh. The car's still running. Let me get it off the exhaust pipes. And just like that, it pops right off. So it's pretty nice. Folds up. Now let's pull this one into the door number one. This is probably uh, one of the nicer Fords with the GT500. And then we got the Ford GT over there. So both GTs, pretty sweet. But then we gotta get the Spec 5 off here. Let's grab it. And let's back this baby off. And this one's going on the lift because it needs a paint job. I don't like gray. We need to get a bright color just like the other cars. Maybe a pink. I don't know. That's going to be tough to get by, but uh, maybe the wife will like it, take it for a drive. But let me grab the last Mustang, the El Clasico. There we go. Turn over. Oh, yeah, baby. Listen to that boss run. Mustang power. All right, here we go. Let's rip it back. Look at this thing, boys. We're bowling. Classical car is one of the best things. Except when you gotta take a hard left, oh go on, lean it over. There we go, we made it. But anyways, this is the last car to get back. And uh, thank you for watching till the end. If you're watching right now, I always appreciate it, guys. And make sure you do drop a like on today's video and get subscribed to the channel. You are awesome. Thanks for sticking around again. And I hopefully you enjoyed watching us get ready the Ford Racing Garage. And uh, maybe we'll have some race events coming up here pretty soon with a bunch of people. So stay tuned for that. We'll have to see how well you guys like these videos. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.